Hello and welcome to the satellite portion of the Amateur Extra exam. We're in element 2 alpha and so we're going to be talking all about satellites. So let's go ahead and get started. What is the direction of ascending past for an amateur satellite? And that is from north to south. And looking at this image right here, you can see that it ascends. It comes up. So that is ascending, and a descending goes from north to south. Thank you, Alf. All right, so we're back to question number two. Which of the following is a characteristic of an inverting linear transponder? All these choices are correct. Doppler shift is reduced because the uplink and downlink shifts are in opposite directions. Signal position in the band is reversed and upper sideband on the uplink becomes lower sideband on the downlink and vice versa. So all these choices are correct. How is an upload signal processed by an inverting linear transponder? The signal is mixed with a local oscillator signal and the difference product is transmitted. What is meant by mode of an amateur radio satellite? And that is the satellite's uplink and downlink frequency band. So you can go to AMSAT and you can look at all of the modes and the frequencies that these satellites operate from. And they even include some Doppler shift. So you can see right here there's about a 30 kilohertz Doppler shift throughout the pass. Alrighty, what do the letters in a satellite's mode designator specify? And that is the uplink and downlink frequency ranges. So you can see right here you have a VU, which V is VHF and U is UHF. And in the one that we had up at the top it had a VA. So V is VHF and A is 10 meters. What are Keplerian units? These are also known as KEPs, and they are the parameters that define the orbit of a satellite. Which, type, which of the following types of signals can be relayed through a linear transponder? And all of these choices are correct. You can do FM, you can do CW, you can do SSB, SSTV, PSK, and pack it. So you could do a almost everything through a linear transponder. Why should effective radiated power be limited to a satellite that uses a linear transponder? And that is to avoid reducing the downlink power to all other users. You do not want to overpower satellites. So 5 watts from your radio to a Yagi is plenty enough. What do the terms L-band and S-band specify? L-band is the 23 centimeter and S-band is the 13 centimeter bands. And these are industry standards. So L-band, S-band, A-band is 10 meters. So you just go look those up and find a list. You can you only need to know these for the test, but if you want to do satellite work, if you want to go read through this, of course it is nice and it kind of tells you what everything is. So this list is really nice if you want to go find one of these. See, there's a S-band, and that's 2.4 gigahertz or 2400 megahertz. Looking through this list will tell you what the L-band and S-band is. What type of satellite appears to stay in one position in the sky? And that is a geostationary satellite. So ALF right now is geostationary. So hope you've enjoyed this section of the um, the test so far with, with the ALFs that keep showing up. Now let's talk about the antennas. What type of antenna can be used to minimize the effects of spin modulation and Faraday rotation? And that is a circularly polarized antenna. 
And over here, I'm not sponsored by M2. I'm just using their egg beater. On the horizon, it's it doesn't have circular circular polarization, but as it rises above that, it does have some circular polarization. So it can help with some of the fading of spin modulation and Faraday rotation. So those are circularly polarized antennas, and there are other types of uh, other makes and models, so to speak. What is the purpose of digital store and forward functions on an amateur radio satellite? And if you can remember store and forward, it's sort of like an answering machine to hold digital messages in the satellite for later download. And then the last question, what, which of the following techniques is used by digital satellites to relay messages? And again, it's just like the answering machine that is store and forward. So this has been the satellite portion of the amateur extra exam. Hope you liked it. Hit the like button. Please subscribe to show your support. I'm Robbie W1RCP and 73.